A Colorado library district that fired a librarian after she objected to their decision to get rid of anti-racism and LGBTQ programming will now pay her a quarter of a million dollars. And that's not all. Denver 7's Brandon Richards spoke with that librarian and her attorney. For Brookie Parks, working at the Erie Community Library was a dream come true. I just love helping my community. But that all began to unravel two years ago when Parks said the High Plains Library Board of Trustees implemented a new programming policy that forced her to cancel two teen programs meant to build understanding. An anti-racism workshop for teens and a, an LGBTQ teen program called Resistance Through History and that I would need to rename my Read Woke book club because the word woke was polarizing and the two programs were polarizing as well. Park says she started sharing her concerns with community members and was fired. She then contacted attorney Iris Halpern. We should not be going back in time now. You know, this is 2023, it's not 1953. Our institutions have to embrace everybody equally. Halpern says what followed was a long and complicated process that included filing charges with the Colorado Civil Rights Division and Equal Opportunity Commission. On Friday, it ended with a settlement. This settlement is groundbreaking. As far as we're aware, it's one of the first, if not the first, public settlement in the country on behalf of a librarian who's been terminated for these types of issues. In addition to paying Parks $250,000, the library district agreed to implement a review process, giving librarians a voice in deciding which programs are offered. I think it's going to be a big help um, for librarians to be able to safely speak up. Parks says she still misses her old job. I loved working with the, the teens at my library. My coworkers are fantastic. Uh, I was very passionate about my job, and I, I miss it a lot. But now she has a new job working with college students, and she gets to continue serving the community. In Erie, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. That's tough. And Denver 7 reached out to the library district for comment on the settlement. We have not heard back. But going in depth, LGBTQ plus topics have brought some controversy to several other local libraries lately. Most recently, the Douglas County Libraries Board voted unanimously last month to keep four books related to the LGBTQ community on its shelves. That decision ended a months long appeals process started by the Christian political group Freedom Fathers. That group's founder said the four books were inappropriate, but the Board of Trustees kept the books after considering how often the books were checked out if they were recommended by professional journals and if they were cataloged in the appropriate section.